All right, this is the part of the Navigating with Tracks Tips and Tricks class that is going to focus on the Garmin Zumo 590 and 595, the Garmin Zumo 350, 395, 396, and the BMW Nav 5 and Nav 6. All these units are running the same platform, the same software, and should line up nicely with all the screenshots we have. These were all taken from a Zumo 595, so the important stuff will be in the same place any which way. And at this point we are assuming that you have taken your tracks from Garmin Basecamp, you've imported them into your GPS unit, and now it's just a matter of displaying them on your map so you can then navigate with them. So this is the main screen on your GPS and from here we're going to want to go to apps and then to tracks and this is going to be the same as the track manager if you were more familiar with a hiking unit such as the Garmin Montana it, same thing just slightly different name and under the save tracks tab that we have pulled up here you'll have all the tracks that you've put into the GPS there are arrows so you can put quite a few in there and you might need to scroll in this case we're going to just click on that first one and it's going to pop you over to a preview screen and this screen is great to just make sure it is indeed the track that you want and if you are in that area right around the track your icon would pop up there in this case I'm previewing a track that I'm quite a ways away from now that I know that this is indeed the correct track and the one I do want to display on the map in the upper left hand corner you have your wrench if you click on that it will get you to this menu and the first thing right on the top there is show on map and you want to click that box on the right hand side and then it would show on your main map uh, as we discussed in the navigating with tracks class earlier on we do want to set the color to be something that's going to contrast well so in this case the track was green whether or not you want to navigate with that I probably would change it to red or something but we covered that in more detail and right below show on map is set color so that's where you'll have the option to go through and change that and at this point now that you have it on the map it's shown on the map you've picked a good color that you're happy with hit that back arrow a couple of times until you're back to your main screen here and you hit your view map and it'll be sitting right there waiting for you and then just matter of chasing it Alright, if you have any questions, give us a call, 1-800-491-2926, and uh, be safe out there and have fun.